China is in control of everything in America but the military, some of the courts, and the states. It is a fact. And, and I've been pointing this out, and others like Tucker Carlson are starting to do it, and so is the president, but I'm going to tell you things that the president can't tell you at his level, or it would have some very, very dangerous consequences. But I think the consequences of the president not doing this and not saying this are too great. And the main reason they want to destroy me out of all of it is that no one else is putting out the real globalist agenda. <laughs>Thursday, August 2nd, 2018. I'm your host, Alex Jones. We're going to be here for the next four hours in the war room with Owen Schroyer and Roger Stone's coming up. I need to make this announcement. And I need to have it really, really sink in. It is not hyperbole. It is not hype. It is not exaggeration. It is a historic, completely documented fact, and it is the most important issue to everyone on this planet that the Council on Foreign Relations China Century Plan Be exposed. China has a leveraged controlling interest in money, in manpower, in infrastructure, and in traders in our government and in corporations to control this nation. China is in control of everything in America but the military, some of the courts and the states. It is a fact. And, and I've been pointing this out, and others like Tucker Carlson are starting to do it, and so is the president, but I'm going to tell you things that the president can't tell you at his level, or it would have some very, very dangerous consequences. But I think the consequences of the president not doing this and not saying this are too great. And the main reason they want to destroy me out of all of it is that no one else is putting out the real globalist agenda. And I want to explain something. This is a wedding between the big mega banks, Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan, the EU, the whole Hollywood combine that the Rockefellers set up and wrote books about and, and, and editorials in the New York Times. <clears throat> the traders needed a big industrial power and they needed a focused, autocratic, fascist system that they call communist that they could interface with. China, in its official military doctrine, says they are in economic war with us, that they're dismantling us from without and from within, and they've had Davos meetings last year, not this year, where the Chinese dictator came. They've made him officially a dictator now. He was always selected by the party, but now he is. They made him dictator for life, along with his vice president. That hasn't happened since Mao. Because they're in a war posture. So we are at war with China, and it shakes me to my core how brainwashed many of our fellow countrymen and women are and how they believe globalist propaganda and that even Fox News is viciously attacking me and lying about me but never showing what I really supposedly said, trying to juxtapose me against families and children, classic globalist tactic, when China is selling political dissidents organs, when China has taken over the major universities, everything here, 
and they are implementing the censorship. And I told you, Google is moving to China, and their own leaked documents don't just say, from one of the top engineers at Google, only only at 200 people at Google out of 80 something thousand knew this. Operation Dragonfly. They've already implemented Dragonfly. We have the other internal documents that I've received. They don't know the name of it, but they're already phasing in the, the censorship incrementally right now here. They're going global, and China is the command base. You know, President Trump talks about how we need to be trailblazers, how we need to be outsiders, how we need to expose the current stagnant system that's been suppressing us, wanting to make us poor so we can consolidate control and buy us up for pennies on the dollar. That really is the globalist system. And he's absolutely right. So it is an honor uh, to be persecuted by the globalist and to be lied about and to be demonized. But it's an honor to draw them out so we can show who they are so that you take action and you take the country back politically, culturally, spiritually, financially. Another hero is Julian Assange, who's been in solitary confinement in a closet-sized room. They converted a closet uh, with a bed and enough room for a laptop. They took that away uh, over a year ago. No communication with the outside. It's all been one hell of a time for him, and he was very bipartisan in that he exposed Republicans, he exposed Democrats, he very judiciously released information that exposed criminal activity of the NSA, criminal activity of the CIA, illegal spying on Congress, illegal spying on Trump, illegal spying on me, but they had my home number, my old cell, my new cell, and my office line, and they had Donald Trump's mar lago private apartment number that I had. Total proof of Obama spying on Trump and yours truly a decade ago. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the real deal. And America's had freedom so long, people don't recognize real tyranny when it hits them right between the eyes. But everyone needs to go to Infowars.com. The article is right up there at the top of the page, red link. Petition to Trump, pardon Julian Assange. And we go over the fact that he engaged in regular journalistic activity and did a wonderful job being advised by top journalism professors around the world. And that he was very, very fair about what he did. And that you need to send the message that he's a hero. Now, I know they claim he's a Russian agent with no evidence and all the rest of that garbage, even though they've released stuff on Russia and Israel as well, and China. But it doesn't matter. It's the right thing to do. And you wouldn't have gotten elected without Drudge. You wouldn't have gotten elected without what, what you've done, obviously. You can't say it's any one person, but without any of us together, it wouldn't have happened. So we need the president to pardon Julian Assange. And you said in a speech, I don't care who got her illegal server. It's illegal. It's about what she did that's wrong. Don't change the subject. Go back to that instinct, sir. But you told Assange, release it. You said release more stuff. And he's in the crosshairs. And he needs to be pardoned if he's brought back to the United States. We need your support more than ever. They're literally trying to shut us down every day by this point. So please support us by getting the products at InfoWarsStore.com where we have super silver wound gel bullet points. This is new technology that's an advanced patent and technology that's forever changed the colloidal nano silver market. There's been extensive research on silver soul technology, which includes 20 plus safety reports, test series, as well as the first ever double blind FDA cleared human ingestion toxicity study done on any silver product. Formula is 24 parts per million. The 32 parts per million version is FDA cleared as a prescription medical device. It's one of the only OTC products with direct claims against MRSA and VRE, two of the most deadly forms of bacteria that can cause infection. So it's great for first and second degree burns, including sunburn. It's basically an armor for your wounds. This is a protective barrier that guards the wounds and helps keep them from getting infected. I'm definitely gonna get some of this. Barrier of protection can last up to three days on the skin, which is great because when it happened to me, when I get these big scrapes down the back of my feet, plasters just ain't gonna cover it. If you don't even have, you know, bandages, plas plasters just aren't gonna do it. So this would have been great for that. It's perfect for athletes of all ages in all areas of sport. It is super silver wound gel bullet points available as an exciting new product right now at InfoWarsStore.com.